welcome to Linda Likes Tarot. Hi, my name is Linda. If you're new, welcome. If you're returning, what's up? I'm glad that you're back. Don't forget to hit that like button and that subscribe button. It is greatly appreciated and it does help out the channel. All right. Um, today, this reading is going to be for whoever it's meant to be for. So please be your own leader of discernment while watching this general reading. Not everything is going to resonate with you. And that is okay. Sorry, my nose got all stuffy. Um... Yeah, pick up what does resonate with you and drop the rest for someone else to pick up, okay? Okay. Alrighty. So, yesterday morning, I woke up hearing the song, People You Know, I think that's what it's called, by Selena Gomez, but the part that I kept hearing was um, the part where it goes, and what hurts the most is people will go from people you know, oh wait, hold on. And what hurts the most is people can go from people you know to people you don't, okay? And so, I looked up the song, right? And I feel like there's somebody here that could be thinking about you, okay? You could have people that you may have walked away from or separated from or put distance between you and them and, um or vice versa, whatever it is, and there's people out here that are, like, reminiscing about you, okay, because this is the song I heard, like, yesterday morning, right, but then today, I walked into a store, and I heard the song, uh, what is it called, something by the Cardigans, what's it called, Love Fool by the Cardigans, where it goes, love me, love me, say, that you love me fool me fool me go on and fool me that song right <clears throat> sorry my throat is gross right now so just please forgive me um damn maybe that's what somebody wants somebody wants your forgiveness okay i feel like somebody here wants your forgiveness they want to say sorry okay sorry someone wants to say sorry to you that's what i feel like is going on all right um, I also feel like there's someone here that, like, keeps reminiscing on the times when you guys were close. Like, there was someone here that felt, like, so close to you, because I feel like whoever I'm speaking to, you're, you're really good at naturally making people feel comfortable, right? And it, and it helps them, um, you know, put down their walls, and, you know, you make people feel safe. So, it's like, Maybe you were the first person that made them feel, feel like that? Shit. Oh, hell, oh, hell no. Oh, hell no. Give me a second. <laughs> oh, hell no. Why does that keep happening? Someone here is going to fall. Someone's going to have some sort of fall here. Okay, some sort of fall from grace. Um, maybe this is what's happening to this person now. Like, somebody's experiencing some sort of fall from grace, and... Everything that's going through their mind is, like, memories of you. Pro probably because whoever this person is um, probably betrayed you or did something and they're in regret now. Um, and the divine is showing them your face because this is there's, the divine is showing them this is the reason why you're going through X, Y, and Z. Okay? Yeah, because it goes, we used to be close, but people can go from people you know to people you don't. And what hurts the most is people can go from people you know to people you don't. Okay. Something like that is going on. <sighs> and with that love me, love me, say that you love me, it's almost like somebody wants to make you love them again or someone's gonna come in and try to convince you to make you love them again i don't know if this is romantic family business friendship flip it where it needs to go it could be all of the all of those for some of you not all y'all though okay put yourself where you need to go someone's name could be selena don't have to be all right but yeah also i was picking up something about like um speaking of fall from grace i feel like there's gonna be people who had really high 
well, I don't want to say that. I feel like there was people who had some sort of level of authority or, or certain higher positions and they could have misused them and they could be having to step down, okay? I keep picking up somebody here that works at AT&T. There, there's someone here that works at AT&T or some sort of cell phone company that did something they weren't supposed to do. Like they misused their power, okay? Or their position at at and I know this sounds like whatever. I don't care. Um, I also was picking up something about the DMV. Somebody who worked at the DMV could have misused their power. And something about a bank teller at a bank. Okay. And I was picking up Wells Fargo. So this is for somebody. It don't have to be a Wells Fargo. But I am picking up Wells Fargo. So there's something going on with that. Somebody here could be wearing a yellow cardigan. Okay, that's for some of you, not all y'all. Um, and then, okay, mind you, let me just say this real quick. This is like my third time trying to film this video, okay? I don't know what's going on in the air, but it needs to stop. But listen, look at this. My tea, look at what my tea says. It says, are not flowers the stars of the earth, right? It's by Clara. <laughs> Clara Lucas Balflar. I don't even know if I'm saying that right. But when I was looking at my little, that little tea thinging earlier, I was like, who is Clara? So I looked it up. She's like an author or something. Let me see. Sorry, my nose keeps getting. Let me see. And the full, the full thingy, this full quote of from Clara is, what a desolate place would be a world without a flower. It would be a face without a smile, a feast without a welcome. Are not flowers the stars of the earth, and are not our stars the flowers of heaven? You know what this makes me feel like? It makes me feel like you are a beautiful flower. Okay? There could have been somebody here that was trying to pluck you out from the earth. Out of anger, out of jealousy, out of greed, out of whatever it was, whatever low vibrational energy they were possessing at the time somebody wanted you to be eradicated from the earth okay but without you this world would be a very dark place you're someone here who lights up every room and you light up the world Okay, something here about balance, all right, something here about mirroring, as above, so below, as of in the heavens is also reflected down here on the physical plane, something, something like that, something going on, something is going on, I hope I'm making sense to somebody, let's get into the cards. I feel like justice is coming in and somebody getting their ass whooped, basically. That's what it feels like to me. Somebody getting their ass whooped. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, what's going on here? What do they need to hear regarding what I've been picking up for them? Okay. So we have this, we have Venus out here. Whoever I'm speaking to, you're attracting a lot of wonderful things into your life. You're attracting a lot of positivity. I'm also being guided to tell you, please keep your mind positive. Don't allow those negative thoughts to take uh, center stage, okay? Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, can you tell me more what the heck is going on here? <gasps> yeah, we got Jupiter out here. You're, someone here is about to have some sort of lucky break. Also, the second time I tried filming this, um one of the little where is it one of the little ashes from my um palo santo fell on my pajama pants and burnt them okay and so then i stopped the video because i had to get it off me um and then i heard a baby crying okay um probably one of my neighbor's babies right um Something, something's going on. Like somebody could have, somebody got burnt by the sun. 
Or someone had to get burnt by the sun for something else to be birthed. Or for something to begin. I don't know. Some, something like that is going on. Something about karma with this Saturn out here. What goes around comes around. Ciao. Somebody is about to get um, some karma for some sort of action that they took. Some sort of war they tried to start with you or beef or whatever this is. Okay. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, what's going on here? What do they need to hear? What do they need to know? All right. Somebody here is going to do something in a big way or somebody thought they were going to be able to do something in a big way and get away with it, especially when it comes to money and it's backfiring on someone. Somebody thought they had everything figured out and it's it's going up in smoke is what it feels like to me. All right. There could be something here about a fire that is of significance. Don't have to be, though. All right. But whoever I'm speaking to, like someone was really trying their best to stop you from ascending, stop you from um, seeing something from another perspective. They're trying to stop you from understanding something. Okay, someone here was definitely trying to hide something from you. Okay, someone involved large institutions, large companies, something involving your situation. All right, and some, something's tumbling down. I'm also getting like whoever I'm speaking to, you're supposed to help um, free people's minds of something here, especially when it comes to finances. All right. Maybe you're here to help people learn how to manifest, help them change the way they, they view resources. All right. Something like that is going on. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. I'm also getting because you decided you chose... To continue to grow and to expand and to learn and to heal and to forgive it's it's clearing something up for you like it's clearing up past karma or past something blockages something like that is going on that's for some of you not all of you holy spirit holy angels can you tell me more what zodiac signs are involved in the situation Scorpio. I could be talking to a Scorpio or you could have Scorpio somewhere in your chart. There's definitely something about a secret here that is coming out. We get this a lot. There could be a secret here that's coming out about a Virgo. We got Virgo out here. Okay. Something about maybe what a Virgo did. Um, you could be a Virgo. You could have Virgo somewhere in your chart. We have Pisces. I could be talking to a Pisces. You could have Pisces somewhere in your chart. Okay. Or you're dealing with one. There's something here that a Virgo did with spirituality. All right. That's coming out. It's something that has to come out. Or this is something that a Virgo and a Pisces did in secret that's about to come out. Okay. Something here about a Leo as well. You could be a Leo. You could have Leo somewhere in your chart. Or there's someone here that is learned or that has to be courageous or brave about something. Or, yeah. Someone has to face the music. We have Capricorn. Someone here could be a Capricorn or they could have Capricorn somewhere in their chart. Someone here is really dedicated to try to keep something a secret. Like they was obsessed. Okay. Holy Spirit. Thank you. We have Gemini. This could have been a Gemini that was trying their best to hold something back from you or keep something a secret, keep something hidden from y'all. Or you're a Gemini and this is something that happened. I was about to say you, uh, Capricorn. Something about a Capricorn is of significance. You could be a Capricorn. Flip it, flip it where it needs to go. Or someone here just allowed the devil-like energy to overtake them. All right. Someone here wants to communicate something to you now. Or there's something here about information that's coming through. And whatever this information is, it's going to lead to you healing in some way. It's going to help you heal. Okay. Let me keep going. No, I feel like I need to say this. I also feel like whoever I'm speaking to throughout this whole situation, um, you had to let go of a lot of people or you, um, or a lot of people had to, a lot of people let, let go of you, flip it where it needs to go. But, um, during this process, just you, whoever I'm speaking to, don't become jaded. 
okay? You could be someone who has a really big heart, someone who cares a lot about other people, but I feel like the reason why you had to go through this is so that you could learn how to detach from people because some t but because people and things aren't meant to be permanent in your life. Something like that. Something about a different perspective. I don't, I don't know. Never mind. Something about the art of detachment. Somebody. Let me keep going. Holy Spirit, Holy Angel. Like you need to practice the art of attachment in order to heal. Okay. Um, Cause you could be someone who's very sensitive. All right, or sensitive in the spirit. It's like the quicker, the quicker you you understand that, the quicker, the next time something happens, you you can rebound, you can bounce back, rebounce, rebound. Something about a rebound is very significant. Maybe somebody here wanted you to be a rebound. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, can you tell me more. What the heck is going on here? Thank you. Come on, nah. We got Libra Justice. Justice is coming in. It's, it's, something has to be made balanced for you. Something has to be made fair to you. Someone knows this. Someone knows they have to. Okay, someone, someone wants to come in and also they want to work together with you. Okay, we have Aries at the bottom of the deck. You could be an Aries or you could have Aries somewhere in your chart or you're dealing with one. Oh, loaded, loaded. Yeah, we got Leo out here again. Someone here could be a Leo. You could have Leo somewhere in your chart or you're dealing with one. I'm just going to leave it like, I'm going to leave it like that. Yeah, it's like, like someone here is impressed by your strength, your willpower, your fortitude, your your, your willingness to continue to keep going and moving on forward. Okay? Your willpower is impressive. Let me see. What else is going on? What's going on for them? What do they need to hear regarding what I'm picking up? People will go from people you know to people you don't know. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, what is going on? Yeah, you're being asked to choose wisely at this time. Number seven. Holy Spirit. Gosh, dang. We got heart chakra. Someone here is definitely in their feelings. We have heart chakra here. Um, someone's in their feelings when it comes to you. Someone here could be 47 years old or someone here could be born in 1974. Um, we have suffering in silence. Number nine. Yeah, there's someone here that wants to... Um, what's the bottom of the deck? We got accelerated emotion number eight. Someone definitely does want to communicate something to you. But I feel like this is someone who did you dirty. They want to bring love into the situation. This is what this person wants to communicate. Someone here wants to partner up with you and have a relationship. This could be family, lover, business, friend, flip it where it needs to go. This person's grieving without you. So this, this is what I'm saying. Someone is literally having like memories about you, thinking about you, wanting to work with you. Okay, This person's having hope that you two can heal something together. Okay, This person wants to come in and say that they love you. This person could be hoping that you're lonely so that when they come towards you, you won't move on. I don't know. Something like that is going on for some of y'all. Something like that. <clears throat> Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. There's something here about you needing to be realistic about a situation or about what what is going on with this person's intentions with you. Okay, someone's area code could be 947 or 749. Can you tell what this is? Yeah, choose wisely, okay? Because if you don't choose cr the right choice, you might not get some sort of victory or triumph here or some sort of achievement or success. 
What is this? Something about real estate or something about your wealth. Someone wanted you to feel overwhelmed or choose something over something else. Or somebody wanted you to lose out on something. They wanted you to make they wanted you to make the wrong choice when it comes to something. Or someone's trying to make you depressed. Someone wanted you to suffer. Or so this is someone here who is suffering without you. They they could have been trying to um distract themselves with work. Distract themselves of how they feel about you. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about this. What do we have heart chakra? Mm. And strategy came out. Someone's strategically trying to play on your heartstrings, child. This person's actually mad at you. I'm also I'm also getting somebody could have already tried this. Somebody could have tried this. Try to play on your heartstrings in order to um, make you make a certain decision. Somebody here could have wanted you to buy a house with them or something or move in with them or try to convince you to do something with them. By playing on your heartstrings or trying to make you feel like you guys were, um, you had a future together or something like that. It didn't work. Whatever happened, it didn't work. Okay. So this was someone here that was coming in trying to use you. All right. Someone was trying to take someone down. This could have been your family that was trying to do this. Like they were trying to knock off the queen or something here. Off the chessboard. Someone's confused and worried because something didn't work. Why do we have suffering in silence? Yeah, we got illness here, weakness. Someone here thought this would weaken you. Someone here was trying to hurt you emotionally. Or somebody's been doing this in order to like um, control you. Somebody's trying to control your movements any way they can. Someone's obsessed. Someone doesn't want you to know something. Why do we have accelerated motion? So, somebody doesn't want you to know that someone wants to come in and marry you. I don't know. Maybe someone was going around saying that you're sick. <laughs> I don't fucking know. Someone's realizing that you're a good person. All right. They want to make something right with you. I don't know what this is, child. Going back to the beginning. Whoever I'm speaking to, you're about to get justice when it comes to this situation. Okay. This is not for everyone, but for some of you, somebody needed to get divorced first before coming to you. And they've been being held up by the court system or the verdict of what the court's ruling is before they came to you. That's for some of you. Not all y'all, but I am picking that up. What the hell is going on? Is this a relationship? Why do we have two lines here? Somebody's realizing that you're untouchable, okay? Because someone was trying to do this to you or injure you or get you caught up in something. It doesn't have to be that. Someone was trying to break you down. Someone was trying to break your heart. Someone thought if they broke your heart. This is what your family could have put someone else up to do. This is what they could have planned. Was to send someone to come in and break your heart. In order for you to get into a period of depression or... So that they could attack you with some sort of magic so you can get sick and ill and pass. That's for some of you, not all y'all. Listen, I repeat, this is not for all y'all. Um, okay, but whoever I'm speaking to, you're on top of your shit. You could have mastered the art of detachment or you now have the understanding that not everyone is supposed to be in your life forever. Can you tell me more? Someone was hoping that you would be like codependent on somebody or... Um, Maybe even be in that energy of like that one song. Uh, 
uh, Love Me by the Cardigans. I think that's what it's called. But the song where it goes, love me, love me, say that you love me, right? That whole song is like this girl begging some man to love her. Like somebody wanted you to be like that. Somebody was predicting that you would be like that. Like someone thought you were going to react a certain way. You know, if, if you, if they came in, broke your heart and then, I don't know, something like that is going on. We have bully. This is a bully here that was doing this for some of you. No, this is for a lot of you. Somebody, so, there's a someone here. There's also a bully here that's now suffering in silent in silence, and they are sick. Look at this. Yeah, someone here could be pissed off because some sort of dark secrets are not going to be revealed to you. Someone's also upset because either you're commuting, communicating someone's dark secrets, or you know somebody's dark secrets. Or someone's dark secrets are going to be communicated to you. Okay? And they don't want this. They're saying, no! <laughs> okay? There's something here about someone bribing someone else to make someone lose out on something. Or to cause an ending to something when it comes to them. Someone's furious because they're finding out that you're okay. Your stability is okay. You, you're all right. You're, you accept things. Someone doesn't like that you're, you're quick at accepting goodbyes. You're quick at accepting endings or something. I don't know. Someone, somebody does not realize like you have changed. Somebody could have used one of your friends to do this to you. To make you lose out on something, make you end something, make you get, get fired or something. Something like that is going on. Make you lose finances. For some of you... Oh, never mind. Lose something. Yeah, but they're realizing that you're untouchable. Because it's like they feel overloaded now. Because no matter what they do, it's like this this property or wealth or real estate is going to be um is being discovered or you're going to discover it or it's going to be told to you by some sort of lawyer or law official or something like that and there's going to be so many other people involved in this situation that played a hand or put a played a part in trying to keep this information from you okay someone here did not choose wisely in the past all right, and now they're suffering and they're sick and they're sad and they know their dark secrets are coming out about the, something about the family or something about a large sum of money for a lot of you or something about an inheritance. <coughs> yeah, you're going to have reason to celebrate here soon, okay? I'm also getting there's like three main people that um, are upset about some sort of secret coming out. All right, you're about to be real stable, Somebody want to come in and apologize to you. This could be a Virgo that wants to come in and apologize to you. Yeah, the devil made the wrong choice. This could have been a Capricorn that didn't choose wisely. Okay, or this was just someone here that was very obsessed, okay, with trying to get something to go their way in the past. Someone is now realizing they need to let something go. They could be um, having sleepless nights. They could be stressing out because they know that secrets are coming out. There's something here about paperwork. They're freaked out about some sort of paperwork being looked at or being found out. Some Somebody celebrated too early. Somebody thought something was um, some sort of victory or success and it's, it's turning out it's not. Something about real estate. Something about wealth. Something about a major project. Someone was trying to put together and it's, it's going to shit. Whoever I'm speaking to, you're about to get some sort of victory and success here, okay? And you're going to be getting something all by yourself because there's only one person in this freaking card. You're getting all of this, Ten of Pentacles, by yourself. The Ten of Pentacles can be symbolic of a lot of things, all right? Someone here and someone else is going to jail, okay? That's what someone's worried about. Look at, look at these cards. We got the tower here. Somebody, you're going to get some information that's going to be very shocking, okay? Or this person is currently receiving shocking information. Gosh, the tower came out again, okay? 
someone knows that they get in, in trouble or they're going to have to get punished for something. There's some sort of repercussion for some, 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 la, 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 someone's actions, okay? This is the fucking truth. Someone's going to come in and tell you about this or this is a king of swords that's going to be locked up in jail this could be um a libra gemini or aquarius that is that this is going to be happening to or someone here just thought they was real smart yeah flip it where it needs to go or this is just someone who's very cold cold as ice do 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 my love tell me more spirit yeah whatever this communication that comes in you gonna be happy about it and someone here is gonna want to argue with you tell me more spirit why do we have um yeah you're free you're free to be you you're free to be yourself you're free you're gonna be freed out of some sort of suffering and silence because someone wanted to like keep you there alone all right this was someone here that was trying to bully you out of ever being in a loving balanced relationship yeah this is balance here that's coming to you something is being tempered tempered to a high priestess there's a high priestess here that's going to be getting some sort of victory here someone here wants to apologize to the high priestess all right Someone here was trying to bully a high priestess, trying to make a high priestess um, weakened, trying to give them some sort of disease, trying to make them fragile. Okay. That was someone's wish to make you sick. Why do we have this? Someone wants to apologize. Yeah, this could be a younger fire sign for some of you. We have the page of wands that flipped out. Or there's a... Or this is you. Flip it where it needs to go. Okay. Someone here could be scared. There's a bully here that's now scared of something here. Because you have the will of fortune, or the will is in your court. The ball is in your court. The will is in your favor. Somebody's scarred. Yeah, they're scared because they juggled you, and now something is over. The cycle is now closed. Yeah, because you decided to protect yourself, or it's because you're protected. There's something here about someone's mother that's also significant and plays a role in here somewhere ciao i'm also getting like your family's heartbroken because something didn't go their way and they're blaming you once again scapegoat being blamed that's for some of you not all y'all what the hell is these dark motherfuckers secrets there's something here about a marriage that's also a secret maybe someone secretly got you married falsely married there's some sort of documents okay you're about to find this out you're about to hear this what's up with these dark secrets spirit yeah this is good news that someone's dark secrets are coming out or somebody knows that you know their dark secrets ciao bullseye Somebody knows that you know their dark secrets. Look at what just came on. Thunderstorm. The storm. It's like a it's a thunderstorm for someone now. They're trying to avoid the thunderstorm. That's the ambiance. <laughs> We're changing it. <laughs> Let me go back. Oh my gosh. Which one was which? I don't even remember. Okay. Someone wants to come in and uh, they want to work something out with you because something here wasn't supposed to come out. Some sort of message was not supposed to come out. Yeah. Somebody failed at something. They failed at keeping a secret a secret somebody's pissed about something coming out i'm telling you child or someone here gonna be homeless if this is literally about some sort of property real estate or wealth or something someone's someone's everything's getting taken from someone what's up what's up with this um dark secret saturn again this could have been something about a capricorn don't have to be or child this is karma 
you need to keep up boundaries when it comes to someone. There's someone here that wasn't taking care of some sort of responsibilities either. Someone here was trying their best to create some sort of delays when it comes to you. Or someone's mad because... Somebody's friend is getting karma. Someone did something with technology, social media. I connect Saturn. Somebody was doing something on the internet or doing something with technology. This could have been a cancer for some of you. Their secrets are coming out and they're pissed. And right after that is death. And then right after that is this. Maybe some there's like um there was some there's something there's evidence on the internet about someone trying to learn how to harm someone or how to some something child something happening why why is this person pissed i don't want to say what i think it is because that's yeah they're pissed because you know too somebody's mad because you keep knowing you you be knowing and shit this is why someone's mad because you already know something you knew something during retrograde. You knew to do something before someone else did something. And this is why someone couldn't connect to something here. This could have been connecting to something when it comes to your technology. Somebody wanted to connect your device with their device or something like that. But you could have done something in time. Like you could have known as in like you could have gotten prop prompted, you know, like I should do this. And then you just went and did it. You followed your intuition when it came to something. I don't know what you did. You did something, though. Maybe you changed your passwords or something during retrograde or something about Mercury retrograde, okay? Something didn't was something was unable to connect because of Mercury retrograde or something like that, and now someone's dark secrets are coming out. Somebody could have been trying to do this during the new moon, okay? Or whatever someone was trying to manifest, like... Oh, this could have been someone here that was trying to compete with you. Don't have to be, though. Or someone here was trying to bring, uh, trying to challenge you in some way when it comes to this new moon energy. But you're still getting your new beginning, okay? And someone's intentions for you is being sent right back to them, okay? Tell me more, spirit. Somebody's mad about this. This could be a cancer. It came out again. This could be a cancer. There's just someone here who's in their feelings about this. They really thought, they really thought they were going to get away with something or that something was going to work out but they're realizing that you're fucking untouchable someone does not understand how you do this or maybe they do they just thought they could still do it i don't know someone's gonna be homeless or they're gonna be down and out or but this is something that someone has done with their own hand okay do unto others someone somebody mm -mm, something about the golden rule somebody knew better somebody done fucked up that's what it feels like to me what else is going on spirit what do they need to hear somebody wants you someone wants to ask you for money somebody wants you to donate to them or someone wants to come to you like this could have been someone who was trying to steal your money through the internet or something or hack into your bank account or and it got a bunch of other people involved and now they're instead of just coming and asking you but now they're gonna i don't know but since that didn't work that plan failed now they're just gonna come in and ask you or something i don't know the, the gall holy spirit holy angels can you tell me more what the heck is going on what is going on ciao a lot's going on it's time for someone that has to be brave. Someone has to be brave now because they have to come in and they got to communicate something to you because if they don't, some something is really going to be bad for them. That's what I feel like is going on. Yeah, we have witch at the end of the world. It says an important end, a new beginning. Everything makes sense. We have strange valentine. It says love is strange. <laughs> this is someone who claims that they love you. This is what... Somebody did something to this... I can't even talk. This is somebody who claims that they love you. That did this to you. 
okay? This person now could be getting haunted by whatever entities they try to send you, or they're just haunted by your face. Someone here could be haunted by you. Because <laughs> whatever fall from grace they're experiencing right now, they can't stop seeing your face. Okay, we have a clear solution. Somebody knows that you're the solution to some sort of problem here. Or there's someone here that knows um, where the source of it of an issue is coming from. Okay, something about breaking dawn, something about the morning time or tomorrow morning. I said that's so weird. Tomorrow morning. <laughs> I can't. I can't with me. Yeah, we have the past returns for a time. So this could be somebody from your past. Okay, don't have to be though. Ew, you miss someone? Uh, <sighs> something about the number 27. Something about a karmic lesson here. Someone here could be 34 years old, 24 years old, 45. Someone here could be in their 20s. Don't have to be, though. Let's get all Big Bertha. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, what do they need to hear at this time? What do they need to hear regarding this message? What do they need to hear? We got 999. You guys could be seeing this angel number. It says you are beginning again. Okay. We have cut cords. You guys are being asked to cut cords at this time. Or this is a confirmation that whatever cord cutting thing you're doing, it's working. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. Or you need to cut someone off. Even if it may be hard. Because you need to realize, even though it may hurt right now, but some people go from people we know to people we don't <laughs> okay like the selena song tell me more we have tracking device on your car i'm telling you right now whoever i'm speaking to if you're if you still have someone like in your circle that you're connected with or you keep connecting with um if you disconnect your future self will thank you okay we have tracking device on your car someone here had that and they feel guilty or someone's going to be found guilty for putting a tracking a tracking device on your car okay this could be someone who, who abuses a lot of pills this could be a pill head tell me more spirit something about this new moon is very significant something about the new moon is very significant you're beginning someone was trying really hard for you to not get some sort of new beginning this was a stalker someone didn't want you to have to move on and have a better life okay someone didn't want you to move on from them and do well okay this is you need to cut cords from a stalker it's literally stalker cut cords ciao we have co-worker is threatened by your work ethic so you have a co-worker that's threatened by your work ethic that was also involved in trying to track you in some way we have hateful baby mama so there's a hateful baby mama out here or someone here was trying to say that you're a hateful baby mama or a hateful baby daddy flip it where it needs to go oh, that's a lot. someone was paid to watch you so you have a fake friend that was just around you to get information we have warning this is a test all right with this stalker that's under stalker alert it says if it ain't six feet it ain't that deep Someone here is throwing a, an, adult, an adult tantrum because you cut them off, okay? We have used caution. You're being asked to use caution at this time because you got someone here that's willing to do anything. This new moon and full moon energy. Something is completing. There's completion here and someone's upset about it. We have upset that you're moving on and being successful. Ciao. We have poison. Someone here tried to poison you during the new moon to make you sick to make you ill that was their whole goal <sighs> someone was paid to watch you who is this person that was paid to watch them spirit who is this person that was paid to watch them a capricorn i'm sorry but this keeps coming out or capricorn someone was paid to watch your ass okay tell me more spirit this is this capricorn admires you or capricorn you have an admirer that was paid to watch you this is someone you could have known for a long time or this is someone here that wants to come in and 
they wanted you to be with them forever or something i don't freaking know this is weird this is like a weird obsession someone has for you it's not cute it's not flattering it's disturbing tell me more spirit we have karma as a bitch someone here is getting karma whoever this stalker is whoever the person is that you had to cut cords from this person felt like whatever they're they, someone committed some sort of shameless crime using technology they're getting karma this could have been your sister that did this your sister could have teamed up with one of your co-workers who were threatened by your work ethic in order to do something to you that was negative someone says that they keep seeing you in their dreams and they miss you tell me more spirit this is someone here who's broke we have convicted and i'm talking like broke spiritually this is not about finances they could be broke financially but this is someone here who's broken inside all right we have and they want to hurt other people hurt people hurt people that's the vibe i'm getting okay someone here is getting convicted for doing something for poisoning someone or poisoning the minds of others this could be a spiritual conviction we have i still can smell you okay someone can still smell you we got mother something about a mother is of significance or your mom flip it where it needs to go someone's mom and sister okay or getting karma we have unwilling to change their lack mindset so someone here was unwilling to change their lack mindset they, they they like thinking the way they do they have strange ass vibes we have strange vibes there was someone here with strange vibes that was planning on trying to do something to you you could have felt this around the new moon okay and then it could have prompted you to do something i don't know you you switch something up whoever i'm speaking to this is going to resonate for someone we have sentenced one to three years so someone here is going to be locked up whoa <laughs> tell me more oh my contact tell me more spirit just so you know these are contacts these aren't my real they're not my real eyeballs thank you for all the compliments though we have the feds are watching okay yeah the feds are watching somebody here the feds are watching somebody's co-worker okay the feds are watching the fact that someone was trying to put a tracking device on your car or a tracking device on you by tapping into your phone there's something here going on with technology someone needed to know where you were at or something or where you frequent you need to know that you were protected the divine protected you from this person trying to poison you or whatever they were trying to do this is someone here that gossips about you a lot this is someone who don't this is someone who has a lot of time on their hands and unfortunately this person is not spending it very wisely tell me more spirit Yeah, we have don't do it. Someone was told not to do something, whoever this stalker is, but they did it anyway. Yeah, we got fear says false evidence appearing real. Someone wanted to scare you. What's that? They wanted to scare you because they wanted to win at all costs. <sighs> who is this person that was told not to do something? Can we get a zodiac sign, please? This is someone who has the Chinese zodiac sign of a pig. Note the date. This could be you or someone else, but yeah, someone was told not to do it. We have soulmate. This could have been your soulmate. This could have been a friend, a family, or a lover that was uh, told not to do something, but they did it anyways. They're going to get sentenced one or three years in jail. Something about a new connection as well. There could have been someone that you had a new connection with that was told not to do something, and they did it anyway. Someone here could have the Chinese zodiac sign of a dog. Note the date. This could be you or the person that was told not to do something, and they did it anyway. Tell me more. All right, this person could be a dragon. They could have the Chinese zodiac sign of, sign of the dragon. Note the date. This could be you or someone else, okay, that was told not to do something. Or someone here that admires you. They were told not to do something, but they did it anyway. This is someone that was coming in towards you, trying to act like they nurture and support you, but truly they was just trying to stalk your ass. Trying to sniff your hair. Trying to be gross. That's for some of you, not all y'all. Holy Spirit. <laughs> Holy Spirit. Holy angels, what the heck is going on here? What's going on? We have manifestation mode 369. Okay, so you guys are definitely manifesting right now. <laughs> manifesting. You're in incubation. We have, I'm praying on your downfall. Fake friend, partner, etc. So, you about to find out that someone here was uh, praying on your gosh dang downfall. 
because they feel like you broke their heart we have heartache here or someone here was trying to make sure that you got your heart broken in some way someone wanted you to hurt even though okay for some of you this could have been someone who hurts you first you walked away and then they got hurt because you walked away because they hurt you i don't i'm annoyed who is this person that's praying on their gosh dang downfall can we get a sign please an aries there's an aries here that was praying on your downfall okay this could have been your own father your baby father somebody's daddy someone's boss somebody this could have been a virgo okay that was praying on your downfall or vice versa i'm talking to a virgo or i'm talking to an aries that someone was praying they're preying on their downfall flip it where it needs to go please i'm not your mama i'm not your daddy speaking of which tell me more spirit tell me more what else is going on your twin flame could have been praying on your own downfall your twin flame could have been torn could could have turned karmic chow it came out okay or there's a twin flame union here that's being protected okay yeah one more there's also some people around you that you only met for a short amount of time that are also preying on your downfall they're all they all in your face are acting like they really nurture and support you but they don't they they don't someone's fake we have um scorpio okay someone here could be a scorpio a scorpio could have been preying on your downfall or um an Aries Scorpio couple could have been praying on your downfall. Flip over knees ago. Or your Scorpio and they were praying on your downfall, baby. Tell me more, spirit. What else is going on? Jeez. Yeah, something. The smoking gun has been found, okay? There's evidence that's been found about someone here trying to stalk you, or there's evidence found about someone here um, doing something to you under the full moon. This could have been like, I don't know, something here. We have apartment application approved. Some of you might be moving soon, or maybe that's what you're manifesting okay someone here is about to get booked or they already are tell me more yeah a jerug bust something like that could be happening or someone here was trying to plant jerugs on you we that's not for all y'all that's for some of y'all we have intentions is everything we got april something about the month of april is very significant this could have been an aries or a taurus this could be your sign or somebody else's sign you could be an aries taurus cusp okay or something here in april the feds already knew something back in april we have money made off children someone here could be having stomach issues now because they're nervous because they know they about to get locked up oh ciao <gasps> let's see let's see let's see what was this person's intention spirit this is a king of cups so cancer scorpio pisces their intentions child were to sabotage you or or do something to you they were trying to win at all cost here but now something's over the cycle of them trying to do this to you is over it's done bye bye okay tower literally bye bye tower someone's in shock because they couldn't do something to you it's over they ran out of time deuces what were they trying to do spirit this person feel like a fool they will humiliate themselves someone's about to humiliate themselves that's why we got 333 it says guardians are by your side to assist you you this person thought you was alone you have a whole freaking army around you tell me more spirit yeah we have a cleanse clear your aura you guys are being asked to cleanse your aura whichever way you do tell me more spirit tell me more we got 11 11 you guys can be seeing this angel number a lot it says awakening everything is falling into place confirmation tell me more spera we have fake news it says always making up something new don't allow their fake tears or smile to fool you yeah so someone wants to come in and tug on your heartstrings this could be your family that wants to come in and tug on your heartstrings because they don't want to get in trouble and they experiencing karma we have what they put out is being sent back to them times 10 Child. we have overactive throat it says steady throwing shade and having your name in their mouth this is what this person be doing and we have psychic vampire it says eats at every 
eats that energy, drains everyone around them. Okay? That's what this person is. And then we have mental breakdown. They're losing it without your energy. Some of you could have cut off or cut cords with a psychic vampire or some sort of energetic parasite that was around you as a person. <laughs> they about to um, have a mental breakdown. Okay? Because uh, they can't survive without your energy. You need to cleanse your energy, please. We have fake opportunists at the bottom of the deck. It says watching others to see what they can take to make it as their own. So this is someone here that was duplicating everything that you do. This could have been someone here that you could have noticed or picked up that they were um, copying your mannerisms. Just keep it like that. I'm going to keep it like that. What else they need to hear, spirit? I don't want this one to be too long. What else they need to hear, spirit? Ay, 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 ay. Yeah, this was a snake. This is a snake that's gonna have a fall. Beware of hidden snakes that pretend to be harmless. This is a secret enemy, a fake friend that's a shapeshifter that was trying to show you once uh, uh, that they were one thing, but they were the other. This person's scared because they know they about to go to jail. We have toxic love. This could have been somebody too that was coming in trying to act like they wanted to have some uh, some sort of long-term commitment with you or have some sort of relationship with you, but they were just there to gather information, drain your energy, try to connect with you in a way so that they can drain you. Don't pollute your body by holding on what onto what you think is for you. What you think is for you. For a lot of you, this person is not for you. This person is full of drama. They're not aligned with you. This person is too low vibrational. For a lot of you, if you think about this, whenever you start hanging out with somebody and your health becomes affected, it's because for a lot of you, you're very sensitive spiritually. And it's it's not it's not good for your aura. It's not good for your vibration. It will bring you down. It will weaken you. Someone needs to hear this. You you could have been developing some sort of rashes, okay, or um, increased dandruff or something. Like, something was going on with your immune system, something going on with your body, okay? We have climb up the ladder. It says you're climbing the ladder of success one step at a time. It says promotion, more success, improvement, raise. Whoever I'm speaking to, someone was trying to prevent you from climbing up the ladder. Or this is, this is a snake of yours that wanted to climb up the ladder with you. The other day, I just saw a video <laughs> of, like, uh, this frog climbing up the fence, like, this metal fence, and the snake, this garden snake, was, like, trying to, like, was holding on, like, to the frog's leg so that it wouldn't climb up the fucking fence, and it finally got free, and the snake kept trying to, like, follow the frog. Like, that's what's going on for some of y'all. Someone's trying to stop you from getting to your full potential. Somebody wants to stop you from achieving something here. We have life as a dance between making it happen and letting it happen, okay? We have movement, guiding light, flexibility, okay? <sighs> you're being asked to go with the flow, okay? Continue moving on on what you're doing because you're whatever you're doing, it, you're, you're doing something right. Yeah, you're going to have a uh, reason to celebrate here soon. All right, there's a lot there's going to be a lot of things for you to enjoy, okay? You're also being told not to worry at this time. All right. I'm also getting like if you guys went to some sort of holiday celebration with someone, there was somebody there that said something, did something or didn't say something. Flip it where it needs to go that raised your suspicions about them. And I think you're right. I think you 100% correct. You need to listen to that. We have divine timing. There's something here about divine timing is of the essence. Okay. Why do we have suspicion here? What's up with the suspicion? Mm, this could have been, yeah, this is someone karmic. says this hater is known for stealing from people so for some of you if you had people over during during the holidays or um if you went over to someone else's house i don't know so you guys could have been noticing that you had stuff missing stuff came up missing like you can't find shit for some of you like someone can't find a credit card 
or someone can't find something. I don't know. This is a karmic that could have took something from you. It says this hater made a new social media account to cause drama and to spy on you. I don't know, child. Something about social media, the internet, something about credit cards. I don't know. Debit cards, something. Something something's coming up. Something's up. Something is up. Or you or your ID's missing or something like that. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, what else do they need to hear? So we can bounce. What do they need to hear? Should I get the shells out? <laughs> it's so much more spirit. We got 6161. It says, don't allow your anxieties regarding material wealth or needs to overwhelm you. Reach out to the divine for, for assistance. Okay. We have zero. You guys could be seeing a lot of zeros. It says, you're beginning a new phase in your life and embarking on your spiritual journey. Okay. What else they need to her spirit? We got 909. It says, take responsibility for your actions and your choices. So there's somebody here that's that has to take responsibility for their actions and their choices, and they're scared about this. Okay. Someone, someone knows that they failed miserably. We have 333. It says, you're transforming. It says, abundance awaits. It says, but you must forgive yourself and your past mistakes and vow to live your life to the fullest. Okay. If you guys are seeing 333, here you go. Forgive yourself and live your fucking life don't allow fear to stop you from living your life don't allow the fear of some karmic dumb fuck stop you from living your life please it says it's time for you to manifest your gosh dang desires okay this is gonna be short i don't want it to be too long Someone's first model or last name could start with an R, a U, an H, a V, an L, Adios. an E, another U, a J, an F, an I, a Z, an F again, an O, a Q, an S, an A, a B, a G, and a Z. Something is finally over. <laughs> I got DBZ. Let me see. Something about the month of August is of significance. So this could be uh, your birthday or a birthday of someone else. Or something significant about August. Maybe you had a new connection in August. Or you met a new friend or something in August. There's something here about someone's job. Maybe you met this person on your job or at your job. Or you got a new job at August or in August. Okay. We got love. Somebody wanted you to love them. We got love out here. Or there's something here about a lover or lovers. You guys could have been dealing with a Gemini <clears throat> or someone here who has Gemini somewhere in their chart. There's something here about a jug, a jug, something about a water jug to be significant. Okay. Somebody here could have dug. We got the word dug out here. Someone's name could be dug. Okay. But someone here could have dug themselves a hole. They know they're going to fall in. They wanted you to fall in it, but they're going to fall in it. Okay. Something about a test score, something about a GPA, that's not for all y'all, but that's for some of y'all. Alright, someone here could have bugged something. Someone pretended to come in and be your lover, but they bugged something. Someone bugged something of yours. Or someone's bugging you, or there's something here about bugs. Okay, bugs, cockroaches, ants, flies, bugs. Mosquitoes, bugs. Divine Feminine. Someone here feels like they need a hug. We got hug out here. Alright. Something about IG. Something about Instagram is of significance. 
Okay, something about someone's Instagram account could have been hacked or um, somebody tried to get into your Instagram or something about Instagram, okay? Someone here could be a vegan or something about Vegas. Last reading, I forget which one it was, but it said Las Vegas. This is Vegas. Somebody took a gamble here. Someone's name could be Lori. We got Lori out here. Somebody took a gamble here. Or somebody here could have gotten married to someone else in Vegas, okay, and didn't tell nobody. Something about a Dairy Queen is of significance. Something about a, a shotgun wedding or something like that. Maybe you're not aware of this. Something about someone's hair is significant. I did say something about someone sniffing someone's hair, bro. I don't know. We got Lou. Someone's name could be Lou. Something about lore. The story of something. Lore. Isn't that like the backstory or the... As legend has it or something? Lore. Pork lore, some sort of story someone told. Okay. Someone here could be a hag. Right, we got the word hag out here. Something about a signal. Something about a drone. Okay. Someone here could be from Australia. Someone... Something big is gonna happen. Whatever this is, it's something big is gonna be revealed to somebody. Someone here could be a Navy SEAL. We have SEAL out here. Someone wants to say F-U, F-U. Two F-U's. Fufu. Maybe someone's eating fufu. I don't know. We got something about jerugs. We got jerugs. Something about jerugs. Maybe someone was trying to jerug someone. I'm gonna end it. Someone's name could be Leah. Something about your life is significant. Somebody could have wanted your life or... I don't know. Child, people is weird these days. I don't freaking know. Let's end this. What else do they need to hear? So we can wrap this up. Spur it. Woo! We have good choices. It says, expect a positive outcome from the good choices you have made in the past. You are in alignment. You are in alignment. You got good things coming to you, okay? This card keeps looking at me, so I'm gonna show you. It says 44. You guys can be seeing this number. It says prosperity is headed your way. You are being rewarded for your hard work and your dedication. It's harvest time. You will reap what you have sown, okay? Whoever I'm speaking to, you will reap what you have sown. You deserve it. You deserve every bit of it. Wide open. Any blockages that were in your way, they are now removed. Okay? It says the path before you is clear. Your desires and your intentions are supported by the universe. Okay? Tell me more. Spirit. We have between worlds. It says there is one reality that is slowly dying to the one still waiting to be born. What the f is going on? What the hell going on? What did I just say in the beginning of the read? Where the Palo Santo burnt me and then, I, and then I heard a child crying. I'm done. You need to know that you are protected. Alright. This is going to be the end of your reading. Don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe. If you're interested in a personal reading, please check my description box, be description box below where it says dot 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 more. Click that button. And then my website will be down there. Um, you can click that. If my um bookings are full then you can check mysticsense.com and you can also uh get a reading from there okay until next time 
I love you. All right. Bye.